first Ollie. first day walking to the train station to go and pick up our ticket to the ceremony. It's really <laughs> It's warm. quite warm, I'd say about 35, 40 nice. degrees. Nice. Um, last night was fantastic. I'm not quite sure what time we got home, but according to my phone, the last message I sent was at about 3.30 in the morning. Um, and obviously alcohol is illegal in, in Qatar and you're not allowed to drink. Nah, everywhere we've gone, people are like, you want beer? It's amazing. Um, this is... Uh, this is our delegation on their way to pick up tickets. Say a few words to Central TV. <laughs> so, update later. On their, uh, on their way, and you can hear the Ghana fans outside singing. Are we allowed out? stood outside the hotel. We've temporarily been kicked out of our brunch because they need to do a bomb sweep since we happen to be where the Ghana team are. So we're waiting for their arrival. That'll be exciting. Hope to see Thomas party. Get a few photos. But yeah, first time for him. <laughs> we are British in amongst it. Brazil, Britain. So we couldn't go back outside, it was a window back house in, and this is why. So this is inside. I've been told that the Ghana players are arriving. Oh, can't open the door. Five. We're going to see if we can get it. Three hours, nearly. in the morning and it's been one hell of a day um, I don't think I don't know how it's gonna get any better than this to be honest it started very very high so today we started off just getting off you know collecting tickets things like that and as we were there we just got bombarded by the media which to be honest I quite enjoyed I felt very special and very important it was just because we were the Chased. first England fans there yeah, that's our ceremony. Um, and then after that, this is where the fun really begins. So we go to this brunch, you know, standard, and we start to hear like some noise. 
like, what is that? So me and a couple of us go upstairs and there's this guy who is a Bristol City fan who said the Ghana players are arriving at this hotel in about, well, the players arrive in half an hour. I look outside and I'm not lying, there are thousands, and I mean thousands of Ghana fans being held back by security, police everywhere, All singing, chanting, dancing. We're like, oh my gosh, so we're like, let's wait it out. We managed to chat some security lady into giving us. I waited an hour, and suddenly my dad comes up up the stairs, and we're joined by everyone else. There's about what twenty of us English fans, faced by a welcome party of Ghana fans who've all now got Eng uh, not England, but Ghana flags, are having a great time. We've joined in the, the party. hotel lobby. It was amazing. <laughs> there was Ghana cake, everything, and. It took two hours, to be fair, of waiting and dancing and singing and drumming. It did arrive and it was insane. And then afterwards, as you can see in some of the videos, to give context, obviously all the thousands of fans, we needed to leave the hotel, but we couldn't leave the hotel because of all these fans. So we had to be escorted by security, walk right down the middle of all these fans being held back, as if they must have looked at us and thought we were like important, but realistically we just went to brunch at the right time, at the right place. They just thought I was Ken Sampson <laughs> and what current physique. Yeah, that was a great day. And to be fair, what did we do after that? Went down to the seafront bit. Oh yeah, we got oh. some cookies <laughs> there. <laughs> Um, we went into a hotel which we won't name, which was extremely posh, with, a couple of, with another guy who we were taking along with as an Arsenal fan. And he said, I just said, look, we're going to go into that unbelievably posh hotel, because it looks amazing, but just go in like we're staying there like the only we did. And then we walked past some red stairs when we were in there, and then he's like, what's up there? Let's go up there. So we went up the red stairs, all red carpet and everything, and there was a sign that said, Mexico meeting room. Mexico team meeting room. So I thought, oh, okay. Well, let's have a little look. And we went down thinking it'd all be locked up and then left it open slightly. It wasn't locked the door. So he looked through and it was um, empty. You know, we've got our little nose here. We walked in, it was a big meeting room. You know, There's a little video clip which hopefully is there. And we went in there and we couldn't really resist. We couldn't have made it up. So I looked at the TV, and was playing highlights, because the TV had been left on, even though there's nobody there. Highlights of Forest Bee Palace, <laughs> and this big table with all the pads and things on for the coaches meeting or something, it was about 10 seats. I just drew tricky trees on every single one. Yeah, so tomorrow there. morning, while they do it, when they go for their team meeting, the front <laughs> part of their pad, they're going to have a forest badge to it. It's not very well drawn, I'm not very artistic. <laughs> I thought it was important to share. But the thing is, as he was doing that, I've gone out to the balcony to get the views in, and <laughs> you can see, I don't know what alarm I've set off, but I've set off some alarm in a very posh hotel in Qatar, a hotel that we're not staying at, and realistically, cannot, well, not really, definitely cannot afford, <laughs> oh no, and after the video cuts off, we've legged it downstairs to this. You have, I walked that car because we were in a hotel. No, I was a bit scared. So, and we've got into this elevator lift thing. Dad's Sorry. like, let's try and find the Mexico players and goes up to like floor 11. And we're like, no, we, we, we might get arrested and go to what alarm was no. whilst I sat in the lobby because I wasn't no. allowed in. So. We 21. Uh, we just went up to look at this particular place and me and another guy went in and we were the only English people there and it was just completely full of Argentinian fans and they had about five different groups and they all had life-size cutouts of Diego Maradona. So we didn't stay very long, we thought it might not be a good idea. That was a great time. Day two long. has been incredible. Yeah, uh, what a day. Took a long time to get home, various routes, everything is free in terms of transport. So it is amazing and we've seen some Switzerland fans, which was amazing because oh, we didn't really speak as such. We just went, oh, we will fry that. <laughs> Um, and any team you see that's got a forest link, that's all we do. Just that was a great time. It's a bit like the new red thing that seems to go everywhere you went through in the summer. Anytime you see anybody with a forest player in their squad. Yeah, it's been fantastic. I honestly don't know how it's going to get 
any better from here. Well, the football score, that'll help. That's true. We haven't even done any football. I keep getting messages yeah. that we've been on the 6 o'clock news <laughs> as well. We're right? on all sorts of TV. We've got drama, Qatar right? TV. I, oh, yeah. We were having a bit of a boogie in the lobby, and suddenly, like, eight TV cameras come through filming us, and we're not even. I didn't, we didn't know the chance. We tried to swim along. <laughs> yeah, it's been a great day. Hope we can keep it up and bring you some more interesting content. It's coming home, or we are hopefully in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Bye.